In the last presentation, we completed the priority encoder. In this presentation, we are going to study the decimal to BCD encoder. This is our second type of encoder that we have to complete in this course. I hope you already know what is this decimal and BCD. BCD stands for your binary coded decimal that we have already completed. The decimal is a number system in which the base or radix R is equal to 10. So the total number of digits is from 0 to R minus 1 that is from 0 to 9 and that we have already written in this truth table. Now this is the most easiest topic that you will find in the way when you complete your digital electronic syllabus. So let's start with it. It will not take much time. It's a very simple topic. You already know if you're having zero in decimal then you can write it by using the 4-bit or I can say that if you want the BCD then it is a 4-bit code that represents your decimal number from 0 to 9. If you want to write 0 you will use four zeros. If you want to write one, you will use zero 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 one. Similarly, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. This is not a new thing for you. You just have to write these things. Okay. Now we will move to the next step. That is finding out the values of A, B, C, D. If I see D, then D is high. Let's see when this is high. D is high in this two case for eight and nine. So D is eight or 9. Similarly, if I see what for what values C is high, then I will find 4, 5, 6, 7. For these 4 values, C is high. So 4 or 5 or 6 or 7. Similarly, we will find for B, it is 2, 3, 2 or 3 or 6, 7. Okay. You can see this 6 or 7 and for A it is high for 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 for all the odd values 1 or 3 or 5 or 7 or 9. So this is what we have to find from this truth table. The next step, you are very well aware of it. It is the implementation part. So it's a very easy thing to implement. I am not going to implement by myself, but I have just cut it down from the book. So let's paste it. This is the circuit that you will find after the implementation. You can see here we are having, we are having from zero to nine. This is your decimal this is your decimal from 0 to 9 and uh, D D is what 8 or 9 you can see so this is your 8 this is your 9 so D is 8 or 9 this is your OR gate similarly C is 4 or 5 or 6 or 7 you can see here 4 or 5 or 6 or 7 similarly B and A so it's a very easy topic and uh, the chances of this topic to be asked in your exam is very less so in the next presentation, we will do the next type of encoder that is your octal to binary encoder. So see you in the next one.